Hello, I'm Loft and this is our sanctuary, and today we will be playing Nightmare of Decay. It's a horror game, part of my uh, October horror plans, and I just figured, you know, we'll give more games a try, we'll try and upload one horror game. Ooh. Trying to load yes, one yes, game. Yes, oh. Wait, I've got to read this off. Oh, 23 year old Judith Glasgow was reported missing yesterday evening. She is described as Caucasian, 5 feet 7 inches tall, with a slim build and long brown hair. She was last seen entering her apartment after being escorted home by friends following a late night out clubbing. Yes, no, the, 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 no, no, Police the, searched yes. her apartment and interviewed neighbours but have been unable to find any clues leading to her current whereabouts. Close friends and relatives say that Glasgow has been complaining about frequent nightmares and hallucinations in the past days before she went missing. It is unknown if these had anything to do with her disappearance. Glasgow is the latest in an alarming number of recent disappearings that have local residents spooked. Authorities say there have been over 10 missing people reported in just the last week. Police have been unable to find any new leads in their investigation of disappearances and implore anyone with information to call the Missing Persons Investigation Unit at... Oh, okay. You turned the TV off. You've been having terrible nightmares recently, and watching those news about those disappearances is just going to make them worse. It's getting late, and you feel pretty tired. You should eat dinner and take a shower before going to bed. You're pretty sure that there was leftover slice of pizza in the fridge. Right, fair enough. Let's go find that then. Leftover slice of pizza. Can use this to heat up food. Oh uh, yeah, sure you can. Oh wow, you weren't kidding. Tab to access your inventory. Hover over an item and press E to equip. Hmm. We just gonna go check this oh, oh, okay, never mind. Four minutes is over pretty quick. Lucky for us. Uh, shower before going to bed. Which room is the shower? Ooh, I'm too tired to play video games right now. That's a shame, that looks kind of interesting. But this would be your bedroom, so... Shower? Alrighty, figured I'd turn the game volume down a little bit. Let's get into it. Uh, oh, okay. As soon as you turn the TV off, you suddenly notice in the reflection of the TV screen that there is someone standing behind your sofa. You turn around and see a large man staring at you with a crazed smile on his face. He's hoarse. Horse breathing echoes throughout the room. The man is holding a decapitated head of a woman. Thoughts of the recent disappearances come to mind and a cold chill runs down your spine. In the next moment, the man fades away just as suddenly as he appeared. You must be more tired than you thought if you're starting to hallucinate, and maybe eating that pizza before going to bed was not the best of ideas. A good night's sleep should help refresh your mind, you hope that you don't have another nightmare tonight. Well, we'll see about that. That was pretty... Oh, that's you. Prominent. You know, you could turn off the game. 
maybe not burn out your computer. Or you could just leave the game running for like 10 nights, doesn't really matter. Nightmare of Decay. We in a coffin. Don't know what it is, but I really like the retro feel of this game. It's really cool. Alright, so for reference. Sorry, what? Okay. For reference, I don't tend to play horror games a lot. So this Oktoberfest I've got planned of just essentially horror games as much as I can possibly play. Oh. You see a cat sitting at the top, on the railing on top of the stairs. It stares at you with unnaturally intelligent eyes. Hello, stranger. The cat greets you. And strangely enough, you can understand what it's saying. Looks like the nightmares claimed yet another victim. Many have been brought here against their will. And will only meet a terrible end one way or another. No one has ever managed to escape alive. The cat pauses to look you up and down, almost as if to appraise you of your worth. It seems unimpressed. I wonder how long you'll be able to survive for. Not long if I had to make a guess. It'll be fun to see how you meet your end in this horrible place. Maybe one of the monsters will get you, or maybe you'll go insane and end yourself. Well, I need to get going. Good luck, stranger. Try not to die too fast. Hmm. Well, fair enough. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't play horror games very often. So, I might have quite a hard time with jump scares and fears, but we'll go through this entire month and we'll see how many... I want to upload a horror game a day, so we'll see how many I get through. I've assigned the knife to one. And I stabbed the door instead of her. Uh... Oh, lovely. I mean, there's not that much blood for this to be. Oh, it's him. I thought those were my footsteps. Okay, fair enough. Oh, there's a gun over there. And a key. Entrance to the the key to the entrance rather. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, first of all, let's assign that to two, and then we'll get out of here. Nice. Yeah, I don't tend to play PC games very often either, so you'll have to go very easy on me when it comes to uh, accidentally pressing the wrong button. I'm still kind of get used, getting used to it. Oh, that's cool. You don't have to actually equip the key. Oh, this is very Resident Evil, isn't it? That's awesome. All right, ammunition. Some sort of health. Record book. Oh, why not? Well, we'll start this way. So far, so good. Tea stained note. Oh, tear stained note. William has been acting strangely ever since we moved into this manor. He's been spending all his time in the basement doing God knows what. I've tried asking him about it, but he became angry and confrontational. I fear we may be drifting apart. 
I hate this place. We never should have come here. Huh. You could open it with a lockpick. Well, I don't have one. I do have a map. The shape of a spade has been carved into the lock. Well, I guess we can't go that way then. What is this? Try to get as high a score as possible within the allotted time. Score points by hitting the red targets. Time can be extended by hitting the blue targets. Prizes are unlocked by reaching various score amounts. 150. Nice, I want to get to 150. Alright, well... This would be the real test of my, uh... This would be the real test of my um, capability. Let's try it. All right. Oh, I missed. Sure, I got that. I keep missing some of them. I'd like to say I'm doing all right. lost that one. Damn it. Really? There you go. terrible at this. Oh, I missed the five. I needed that. All right, saved some valuable seconds. Wasted some, though. Ho, ho, ho. That would have been it. Ah, I couldn't get that one. Perfect. Would I get 113? Ah, not bad. But I am very competitive, so I'm going to try that again. Let's see if I can potentially do better. My max kind of gave up on me at the end. to make sure I'm getting all of those fives. Nice. I'll try not to miss so much. Oh, is that that missed? High score is 113.
Well, I barely managed to beat my own score, but it did unlock me. Shotgun ammo. I'm pretty sure that this is a lockpick. Uh, how I'm going to get it, I don't know. I need to be a little bit better than I currently am. Right, Q to consume. Gotcha. Um, I do want to go for it, though, because there was a chest. So I'll keep, like, trying, and we'll see if I get any better. It's a shame you can't use a controller with this game. Oh, I would be so much better with a controller. I think my genuine overall skill with the controller is just a little bit more precise. But we'll keep trying. Well, that was unfortunate. Did not get the one I was going for. Come on. Had to give up on five for that. No! Oh, no. No, I just needed to get that three. I could have got that. All right, let's try again. expecting a five but I missed out on a two oh I will take that Damn, I missed five. It's not over yet.
Nice. 165. Just about managed to get that done. In future, I'll probably need to get a mouse that's more ergonomic and easier to use. My one's a little small, but I'll, I'll work on that. Oh, I suppose we shouldn't have the pellet gun out. All right. Let's see. I did get a lot pick. Dynamite, health drink, and ammunition. Well, if that wasn't worth it, I don't know what was. All right, so I believe that door needed a different type of key. Further into the manor we go. Seems like that was a good first door to open. Is there a crouch in this game? I don't assume hiding under tables is something I can do. There are a number of coin... Oh, inventory items. Oh, okay, so I need coins. An old farmer, tired from a day of hard labor, falls asleep under a shade tree whilst his loyal dog watches over him. So a tree, a farmer and a dog, I would assume? Hmm. Something to think about. I'll take that. Make sure there's nothing around this pillar. And then another note. Access to some areas of the manor has been obstructed by strange fleshy growth. Lord William has tasked me with finding the solution to the issue. I've discovered that a mixture containing equal amounts of... Lanolim, Odesin, and Aquavon can be used to create a corrosive acid that can dissolve the fleshy ground and regain access to previously obstructed areas. Interesting. An empty jar. Let's take it. I don't think you can open any of these cabinets. At all. Interesting painting. I see blood. Oh. Do you know what? No harm, no foul, right? Wait, that goes back to the... This room, right? Yes, and this room had another spin-off. I mean, worst case scenario, I've got a map, and the map does... Give me a rough indication of where I went. There's two doors there. There's a little corridor here, which is where I'm going to go for. I mean, I suppose I could keep going that way. And if this door doesn't open, sure, why not? Right. Oh, hi. Ow, get off me. I mean, nice. What does it take? Are you down? Okay, I'll assume you're down. Are you down or are you rather than evil down? I mean, you're bleeding out, so I'd assume you're dead. I heard growling. Oh, I see. So you can open some of these cabinets. Somehow I don't think you're dead. Hmm. But I also don't know if stabbing you over and over again does anything. Hmm. Better not waste my ammo yet, though. Never mind. Hmm. Size headshots. I mean, I thought you were going to fall. Much like that. All right. 
Let's see, 15 in the mag. Maybe I shouldn't reload. It does seem like I lost ammo there. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay. I'm in this room again. So now I've gone through these two doors. There's a door locked there and there's a door locked there. Interesting. Well, that one's officially locked. Right, yeah. Sorry, I'm supposed to be reading all this. There's someone there. Please, I need help. I've accidentally locked myself in here and I can't get back out. While I've been stuck in here, my precious collection has been rotting away. I must escape so that I can add fresh toys to it. Please, we can help each other. You wish to get in and I wish to get out. The key to the door should be somewhere in this manner. It's a large blue key with the word pantry carved into it. Please hurry, I do not wish to spend another moment stuck in here. My collection is rotting away. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, but your collection of what? Interesting. Oh boy. Oh, sprint doesn't last very long, does it? Uh, I'm going to waste all my ammo on these guys. There were four of you. Oh, okay. The last one's just dragging a bit behind. Well, since that guy doesn't know where he's going. Combat is a little nerve-wracking. Oh, I missed like four shots. I know you don't sprint very far, but... Nice! Well, it was a bit more effort than I intended. It doesn't seem like bodies give you ammo, so there'll be no luck there. I must ask, what type of meat is this that you're hoarding? It's very important for my knowledge of whether I actually want to free you or not. The damn dumb waiter is broken again. I was sending up the pantry key to the second floor, and the platform got stuck in the shaft on the way up. Now no one can get into the pantry until the stupid lift is fixed. Lord William is going to be furious. Maybe dropping something heavy into, into the shaft from the second floor will be enough to dislodge it. Hmm. Something heavy. So essentially, the pantry key isn't there. Bloody sack. No idea what that was or why I picked it up. But I will admit, I am sort of happy with progress. I have options of places I want to go. Uh, I'm not ready to go upstairs just yet, but there is a room across the hall for me. So why don't we go see what's in there? Aha. Uh -huh. Present the king with his golden crown and defeat his loyal guards to open the way through. That's a pellet gun. Do I have any other guns? No. I do have shotgun ammo though, which I don't know if I was supposed to be able to get yet or not. As long as these guys don't start moving, hopefully until I get this royal crown. I should be free to explore this room. Which is good, because I see those. I won't pick them up yet, just in case they wake up. Our friends, they do not. Alright, this would be a good time to check whether reloading 
whether reloading actually gives me the bullet back or whether I just have 21 bullets afterwards. All right, so 15 plus 7 is 22. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So I can prematurely reload. That's good to know because I do that rather often. I mean, there's something in here. No way, something isn't about to break through that window. I just can't truly bring myself to believe that the second I pick up this shotgun... How did I know? How did I know? Oh, um, well, tab. Let's do something about that then, shall we? You are now three. I'm hoping very well that this shotgun works the way I need it to. Oh. Well, I mean, it does. I'm sorry, what? Okay, there we go. Well, we'll try not to waste that then, shall we? Can't say I wasn't expecting them all to break through the window like that, but, you know. I suppose with the element of surprise not on their side, they have nothing to complain about. Who are you then? And what does the map say? The map says I've got two doors on my left side before going upstairs. I still have that locked door there, and I've got the mixing kit here. What's this? Oh yeah, like the lift. King's bust, to which stops an elevator to God knows where. And I wonder, is it green because I'm in the room, or... Yeah, I think it is. I think it's green because I'm in the room. Alright, please just be a normal zombie. I apologise for my shaky mouse. It's something I've uh, got to work on. When I was actually hoping you'd get both of them with that. Hi. Oh, lovely. I admit, I wasted a few bullets there. I got a bit panicky because there was nowhere to back up into. Oh, okay. Nothing around the corner. I have sworn I just saw something on the floor. Oh, it's just a uh, texture effect. Well, on the plus side, I've got enough health drinks not to have to uh, worry too much. Interesting. Bodies disappear. Well, that's good. The worst thing that could happen is these bodies don't disappear. All right. Hoping the ceiling does not collapse on me. Oh, it's just a save room. That's fine. Then. All right. Well, based on the map, there is uh, no other way to go but up now. So, yay. While I'm at it, actually. Just in case. Unsolved environmental puzzles can be reset by exiting and re-entering the area. Yeah, that's great, but this is a very big area. Alright, so should I have come up the stairs, this is what I would have seen on this side. And I did not see this path. Thank God there was nothing down here. Oh, wait, that's a club. We're going to tackle this very, um, push. No, I'll leave that for now. Wait, nothing around here. 
It's an old grandfather clock. There is a keyhole that can be used to unlock the face covering. Okay, but there is also a spades key in there. Interesting. Could I just... No. Was it worth a try? I would argue yes. Like, what key was that? It's club. Okay. That's the dumb waiter. Alright, there's a path down there. Don't know what's there yet. Oh, lovely. I'm in here for a reason, I suppose, so... So, let's go find out what that is. Death is the only way out. Out of what? This room? I don't really like the sound of that. Oh, you can flush the toilet. Oh, wait, it goes down. That's cool. Oh, well, it didn't give me anything. I'm a bit concerned about what that thing just said. Let's see if I can just get out without dying. I can. Uh, we'll try that door first. Oh, I see you, don't you worry? Oh, I see both of you. Okay, this is very close quarters. Alright, so good to see I wasn't losing my mind. Whatever. That did not go as well as I intended. I wonder. I would say this room is now secure. What's in here? What's in here? Jump scare? Oh, it's a cat. And yes, yes it was a jump scare. I'm okay though. Not one that I would look at and say was too terrible. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. I mean, you should be more careful. I could have shot you. Do any of these cabinets open before I talk to you? No. Thanks for freeing me from that washing machine. Who knows how long I would have been stuck in there if you hadn't come along? Hmm, good question. I saw something shiny in the machine and I went to get it, but the lid closed on me and I couldn't get back out. I managed to get the shiny thing that was inside. Since you saved me, I'll give it to you. Here, take it. Maybe you can find use for it. The cat places down a large coin in front of itself before running away. Oh, this is the coin of the dog. All right, okay. Fortunately, I know what to do with this. I am going to keep checking left and right every time I uh, enter a room. My apologies in advance. It's more of a fear tactic to make sure I'm not being ambushed. Oh, lovely. Right then. And one of those just died to one hit. So maybe. I was hoping you would too. Or well, neither of you, huh? Well, I've shot you less. So if I do that. Huh. I did not mean to actually switch to the uh, knife. But I can't complain. That did work rather well. None of these cabinets seem openable. Well, accessible, I guess, would be the right word. That being said, we should have a few health kits. So, 
No harm in consuming it and finally getting it to say fine again instead of caution. Though I'm going to have to at some point get very used to it saying caution. Oh, okay, nothing in the wardrobe. Except shotgun ammo. Oh, and the tree coin. Nice. Right, so based on this, yeah, this is actually perfect. Upstairs is more or less sorted. To my somewhat satisfaction, of course. Interesting. Do we have to unlock it from this side? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe afterwards. Ah, I see. Never mind. There will be no afterwards. There will only be now. Well, in we go. Or out we go, I suppose. Is that a dog? That does come across as a dog to me. It is. Two of them. Nothing personal, really. I'll be honest, I don't know if I actually have the ammo to be doing half the stuff I'm doing. It seems like this game requires a lot of ammo preservation. Or at least less missing. I don't know how lenient it's going to be on me. Or... Was there just an option here? No, maybe not. Oh, hello. I don't know how lenient it's going to be on me for missing shots. I mean, I do seem to be finding a lot of handgun ammo, but handgun ammo obviously takes quite a lot of bullets to take things down. Shotgun ammo takes considerably less, but... I can't really afford to use them on every little enemy because I might need them for bigger ones. Though I will acknowledge that I do have things like dynamite. Alright, well, I don't see anything else that might be out here. I need to find the key to unlock this door. But I have a key on me, don't I? No, no, I do not. Do you have a lot of weapons, though? All right. Well, then, now begins the fun hunt. Because something must have been out here. Maybe. Is there anywhere I haven't gone? That is the question. Can I? Is this going to break or am I just tapping at it for no reason? Oh, I'm going to guess it's the uh, tapping at it for no reason one. Oi, um, let's see. I have been up both flights of stairs on this side. I've been into the garden, which needs a key. I have been around here. On the floor two, I have explored all of that side. And I do not know if I can get into the basement. But with what I have, if I can find it. Yep, it's there. I thought so. I can go put two coins in. Could be a possibility that I have missed the third one. I mean, I did find cabinets I could open at a later stage. Uh, key items. Let's see. Dog. Tree. 
Oh. No harm, no foul. Let's go explore. I have found nothing I can use these with. Right, this room. Uh... Oh, right. Hold on. Didn't I pick up... No, that's the map. Didn't I pick up an item? Surprisingly heavy for its size. Gotcha. I think it's safe to say I know exactly what I need to do now. I don't know if it's just my luck or if enemies don't respawn, but regardless, I am perfectly happy that they don't. Inspect. Yes, that's my intention. Alright, now I am once again on edge, just in case things have started spawning. Though I do seem to be in a lucky position. That being said... Might just want to do that because I don't trust my luck with that guy. I don't know why, but the idea of somebody locked behind a cabinet telling me that, hey, you know, I just want to get out and you want to get in. Yeah. Do I though? Do I really? It is this room. I mean, I doubt they would lock any sort of good guy in this room, and I doubt all of blood would be going in here if you were a good guy. <laughs> oh, don't you worry, I know. I suppose. <laughs> ah, you have found the key. Hurry and open the door. My collection is rotting away as we speak. You use the key to unlock the door. Finally, I can get back to work on adding fresh toys to my precious collection. You open the door and what greets you is a ghastly sight of mutilated bodies impaled on stakes. The pugent stench of rotten flesh bursts from the now open doorway and assaults your nose. Mysteriously, the key has disappeared and there's no sign of the person that was locked inside the room. Hmm. A young woman has been impaled on a wooden stake. Her expression is eerily peaceful despite the gruesome manner of her death. She's clutching a coin from her hand. Take it. Not yet. The chest is locked. The word pantry has been carved into the lock. Oh yes, this is the pantry. Okay, fine. Yes, yes, I'll take the coin. You pry the coin from her dead hands. A moment later, the anguished crying of the woman echoes through the pantry and a cold chill runs your spine as you sense a malicious presence in the center of the room. Alrighty. It's safe to say running is not a bad idea right now. Uh, tab? Might want to consume this twice, possibly. Run, 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 run. Ow. Fresh meat. Achievement unlocked. Oh. Oh, okay. So you stole the key from me. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind I should not be using the shotgun for anything other than things like that. So, we'll just go back to the pistol, shall we? I apologize, lady. I didn't mean to steal your key. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, it was the old man coin. I thought so. Oops. 
That was a waste of... I mean, I get it back, but that was definitely a waste of bullets. Alrighty. Shotguns reloaded. That's reloaded. Rival knife. And I've now got two sticks of dynamite. Effective at eliminating a group of enemies. Um, yeah, no, yeah, this is the room I wanted. And then we put the old man there. And we've unlocked club key. That's lovely. Uh, that's spades. Okay, so two rooms on the second floor. Well... Off we go then. Don't even know if this was a faster way. glad they gave me a health bar. If they hadn't, I might have reconsidered my idea to use a shotgun not knowing what, like, damage was actually effective with the guy. Oh, lovely. Out of the way, please. Alright. Let's see. One, two... Six, seven. All right, seven seems to be enough bullets to take one of these down. So should I be stuck in a room with them? That's just something there to consider. Hmm, snooker coups. Two poor cues are positioned in a way that resembles clock hands. One cue is pointing towards a two, whilst the other cue, broken in half, is pointing towards an eight. So... 10 past 8 is what you're essentially telling me. I will try to remember that. Clock key. Ten past eight. Well, since I got the clock key at the same time, I would assume that that would be my next... Uh, course of action. A and D to move the thing. And now I've got the club key. Nothing is behind me, no concern. Why is it I could move this ladder? You can crawl through the vent, but you can't reach it. Right. I would have you know, I am entirely against this. I have a ton of things I could do right now. things I could do. However. Yeah, we'll go try out the other room, actually. Let's at least clear... Because I think this room is the only other... I mean, I've dealt with the clock and I've dealt with the dumbwaiter and it doesn't seem like there's anything in these rooms. So that, wherever that goes, would be what I would get after clearing this room. And then, for the first floor, I now have the club's room. So if that doesn't take me somewhere I want to go... Oh, lovely. Uh, mouse, now would be a terrible time for you to uh, mess with me. Lord William has been acting unusual as of late. 
He's spending all his time in the basement and Lady Irma has fallen into a deep depression over his strange behaviour. It all seems to have started after he asked me and a few other servants to install a wardrobe over a large hole in the basement. In, a in the few weeks, or in the weeks afterwards, it's almost like he had become a different person, aloof and quick to anger. Lord William has ordered us to meet him in the basement to again tomorrow night. I wonder what strange task he would have us do this time. I will shoot you. Oh, okay. I can talk to you. There's a fleshy growth on the wall with a large hole in the center. A creature with glowing eyes is peering out of the hole. Hello, stranger. Would you mind doing a favor for me? Do a favor for the creature in the hole. I mean, I doubt I have the option to refuse. Interesting. Thank you, stranger. I have tried to ask others, but they would only scream and mo run away the moment I greeted them. How rude. You see, I'm an avid collector of human heads. The tortured expression of death on their faces fills me with great joy. But my collection is flawed. I've recently realized that I'm, something is missing. All the heads in my collection are male and I have no female heads. I wish to correct this imbalance. If you can bring me three female human heads and place them on the tray I have provided, I will reward you for your troubles. I see. I see. Well, I'm yet to see an alive human, so I don't think I have to worry about that too much. Though I do believe there was a... A human head in the butcher section. Climbing through a vent. Oh, okay, you come straight out. Good. Because I was really going to shoot my way through that vent. Jar of Lanolim. I need that for something. Some equation. Speaking of which, where am I? Um. Oh, okay, I'm in the locked room. So, essentially then, just head right back downstairs. I see no harm in it. Sorry, what? Oh, lovely. Um, when I'm not really in the game for wasting ammo, so to... So if I'm lucky, I can get five. Interesting, but where did you guys come from? I'm super lucky I can get six. if I'm super lucky. Hmm. I'd say that went rather well. Just. No, actually, I'd argue that based on sounds, there are more. Well, wow. oh, that's cool. You can see the little casings looking around on the floor. However, I don't have enough ammo to keep doing that, so hopefully they didn't just respawn everywhere. I do like that outside of combat, it does seem that there's no penalty to sprinting, which is good for me anyway mm, very sorry I mean first I stole your um, coin and then I stole your head 
I am not proud of my actions, believe you me. Alrighty. Well, despite not being proud of my actions, one must proceed. Oh, how gruesome. Let's notice the artwork. That specific artwork. If you noticed the one I was looking at, then yeah. Then you noticed it. What is that? I'd rather not. Oh, the shooting gallery. Right, I never need to go back in there because I annihilated that. My luck. And repetition. Okay. Oh, okay. That went rather well. Lovely. I think we should do something about our health. Just in case. Alright, so where are we? We are on the right side. Oh, I see. This is the flesh wall he was talking about. Okay, clear. Uh huh. What's that? Hexagon shaped hole, square shaped hole. No, no. What it is, is I'm out. I don't have any sort of. I mean, I've got a shotgun actually. What would be the harm in expecting the room now? I will not stand on that thing yet. Hmm. Alright, so whatever this is, I need to get that out. Hmm, nothing to worry about then. Seems like nothing in there was really prepared to kill me as of yet. As of yet being the key term. I would prefer to talk with you, but you don't really look like you're in a talking mood. If I can just... He's almost killed me. All right. Oh, my thoughts now. And there's no point playing with you. Run all you like. So very sorry, but... Pistol and pistol wasn't really doing well for me. So... I would like to know if any of these books are actually sticking out or if they're just, yeah, nothing important. I will come back to that room. Oh. That extra shot may not have been necessary, but you know. Oh, well, let's find out what was in this room. Interesting. Ammunition and healing devices. Nothing useful on this table, nothing useful on this table. 
big room books, something around that corner. Chest. Woo. Oh, bugs you, chest, you got me. Nothing? Oh, something. Mm. Where could I use that, though? Where could I use that? I don't know that I have... I mean, it's locked to the cabin key, so... Oh, interesting. Okay, so I've got access to the rooms on this side. Well, I guess we'll just... Head that way, then. Diamond, lovely. Oh, 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 sure. The capitated body of a middle-aged woman lay sprawled across on top of the bed. A trail of blood is leading from the body to a bloody wardrobe. Well. You don't want to comment on the lady in the mirror, no? Okay. What has happened to my husband? It's almost like William has become com a completely different person. Now he even spends his nights down in the basement, and I can't remember the last time we slept in the same bed together. We barely even speak to each other anymore. Even more worrying, some servants have gone missing, and strange things have happened around the manor. Just last night I heard a horrid breathing sound coming from the wardrobe. It kept me up all night. I tried to tell William about it, but he just ignored me and walked away. I'm beginning to fear for my life. I can't live like this anymore. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> little nerve-wracking but we made it through which way did we come from that way so we actually go left oh don't you worry i hear something just one Well, safe to say my ammo is doing wonderfully. Alright, so now we can get back to the main hall and we've got two more rooms to check with another guy down there. Hmm. The toilet is clogged with disgusting filth. The stench coming from it is extremely pungent. You notice that there's something stuck in the toilet. Reach in and get it. Against my better judgment. All oh, right, I need that. No items hidden behind a bath club again. E. You want to wash your hands or something? I mean, I'll let you. All right, where to now? Straight down the hallway. There's another creature down here, I'm sure of it. That one took eight shots. Yeah. And I needed the ammo. Well, I should at least reload this. 
don't remember what I shot with this that I used it. What did I freak out and shoot with this? Hmm. Last thing I remember shooting were the uh, animals. A lockpick. Oh, right, I've got one of those. Right here. Oh, lovely. Ammo. Much needed. My guns are dwindling. Hmm. Oh. That would be this floor done. We can go back. We could give him the head early. I was going to wait till I had more heads to give him. That's what I want to have. All right. What do we have? Two fluids that we need and a square crank. Two keys we have used. Not two fluids. No, square crank. Where's the crank sections? Filthy toilet, bloody wardrobe. Yes. Square crank. Okay, so we're looking at those two areas. Yeah. Not only really looking forward to either of them, but uh, let's go. What's the fastest way to get there from here? Oh, actually, it is just to go right back down the hall. Well. I think after we get these two square cranks, we shall end it there. But before we do that, some thoughts so far. Um, where are we going? Oh, right. I literally walked out of the room. I quite like this game. I feel like some controller support is me being nitpicky because, you know, I was initially a console player. So I don't really get the advantage of saying, hey, I'm used to like mouse and keyboard. That being said, I am getting used to it. I think I need a better mouse and maybe a better keyboard, but I am getting used to it. Ooh, I know what we do with that. Um, otherwise, I'm quite enjoying this game. It's very... It's very crafty at doing what it does. As I've played it, I've not really heard any... Like, I don't feel intense amount of fear. But I do admit the idea that, like, the screen does this, where it blacks out and you go into the room. Yeah, that's nerve-wracking. And then the room plays music, and it's like, well, what's going to happen to me in here? I don't know. I feel like that has a very interesting effect that I quite like about this game. Interesting. Oh, oh, right, I've got to equip it again. Well, as long as it doesn't try and kill me. But yeah, so that's something I really like about this game. It's kind of got that going for it. But he's the wrong way around. Hmm. Well. But you know, so the game's got that going for it. I do quite enjoy what I'm playing at the moment. It does have... It does seem to have a lot more to it. I don't really remember paying much for this game, but I did buy it a while back. I think I saw 10 seconds of a YouTuber playing this, and I saw, like, one puzzle... I think the puzzle was... It's one of the ones we've already done. I can't quite... I think it was the one with, like, the coins, and I saw that part, and I was like, right, this reminds me of Resident Evil, and then just like that, I was like, okay, I'm interested. Oh, I see. I've gone through the wrong door. Right, then. But yeah, just like that, this game managed to get me interested. And so I give it credit for, like, doing a lot of... um. 
interesting things though i will say so far other than the fact i'm enjoying the like vibes it gives off it feels like most of this gameplay so far is playing more on my nostalgia than it's playing on oh hey this is something new and interesting that's not to say the game can't do something new and interesting it's just to say that a lot of what i'm enjoying about it i guess the best way to say to explain this game would be to say it's not a bad game but it has bought it has bought into like effect something i enjoy from games like this and that's not necessarily a bad thing either oh okay just equal amounts like nobody's saying this is a bad thing at all just something i'm kind of oops kind of enjoying about it all right but didn't we take the empty okay i'm pretty sure we took the empty jar from here but no matter But yeah, no, so just something I'm enjoying about this game. Not anything it's really done wrong or anything. It's just got that cool aspect of nostalgia. And while, as I'm saying, I don't think that's a bad thing, I just think it's something interesting to take into effect because the question is, if I didn't have the nostalgia, would I still be enjoying this game? I would like to say I would find it interesting, but I don't think I'd be enjoying it as much. But I think that might actually be part of the intention to have like that sort of charm of, hey, like you've played games like this before. You know what this is like. This has got that style to it, which is rather nice if you ask me. Lovely. Oh, interesting. Another key. But yeah, no. So just minor... As I said, not necessarily nitpick, just an interesting way to look at the game. Because I'm rather enjoying what I'm playing, but as I say, like a lot of it is tapping into my nostalgic history of like games similar to this. So, but anyway, we shall call it a break here. Uh, I feel like this is a good place to stop, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.